Okay, um, so this is part two of uh, diabolically short videos. I'm doing this off of my selfie camera from uh, Oppo F27. I am still in my uh, society's uh, so-called garden. I'm getting a lot of weird looks from people who live around here. There are kids playing, so yeah, that might be the cause why I'm getting so many weird looks, but I digress. So, uh, in the last video, uh, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's not anything revolutionary, it's just context setter for this. But I'll give you the TLDR anyways. So, I had accepted an offer from a company in Bangalore. They pushed my joining date by a week, which gave me time to interview at another company that's based in Pune. I am from Mumbai. So, obviously, living in Pune is much more convenient to me than living in Bangalore. Plus, from what I had heard at that point, the company in Pune was paying around 2 lakh more than the company in Bangalore. Right? So, I had a choice. Do I go for the interview or do I commit to my joining in Bangalore and just you know, ship my ass off there? Well, I did go for the interview at the company in Pune. I... Oh boy, this is a crazy story. So this is a one take video because I don't know how to edit videos. Uh, this is badly shot because I'm doing this off of my phone and the microphone is this right here. So I don't know how good the audio is. But um, yeah, I got the offer from the company in Pune. Uh, it's paying me a lot, a lot more than the one in Bangalore anyway. Uh, and... Yeah, there's a whole lot of things in my mind that's going on right now that I would like to talk. Hence this video, hence you can see the shadow of my phone as I'm recording from the screen. But uh, yeah, so a bit of background about me. I am an embedded software engineer. What that means is I write code for microcontrollers and microprocessors that help you know, control uh, an electromechanical system. That can be a drone, that can be a robot, that can be... Uh, you know, a car, a, a train, a, a aeroplane, a missile, whatever. Any electromechanical system that needs a bit of control. I'm the guy who, who writes code for it. Now, how is this any different from normal software engineering? Well, I'm not responsible for just the code. But I'm responsible for it running the most efficiently on the given hardware or the given processor that is being used in the system that I'm you know, writing code for. That's a bit of background about me. So, I have done my college in Pune as well. I was in Pimpri Chinswood College of Engineering. Much low. I don't know why cut off is so high. Uske, but it's okay. And uh, yeah, that should give you a bit of background. By the way, Embedded Software Engineering lies under Core Electronics. Uh, yeah, there are people who will argue that no, it's software engineering. Shut the fuck up. It, it lies under Core Electronics Engineering. I want everyone to just realize that and keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, yeah. Moving on, uh, what what was the point? Right? The point was to make an update to the last video. That uh, yeah, I, I got the offer, and let me narrate to you how did I get the entire offer? How you know what exactly happened and what did not? Right. So my interview was scheduled at 11:30 a.m. Uh, in uh, you know Pune, their on-site office. I live in Ulve, in in Navi Mumbai. It's a small part of Navi Mumbai. It's near Panvel, right? So. In my over excitement, I take the first bus that I could, which was at 6.30 a.m. to get myself to Pune. Now, I had this calculation that, you know, I'll run into some traffic. It will take me around three, three and a half hours to get there. You know, 9.30, I'll, I'll have some, some breakfast. I'll, I'll, you know, wander around a bit. I'll, I'll reach the office by 10.30. That's a good enough buffer. I reached the fucking office at 9.30. There was no traffic. There was a little bit of rain in Mumbai, nothing in Pune. So, there was no traffic. I get my ass to their office at 9.30 a.m. The HR was quite chill about it. They were, they were you know, laughing, joking and you know, this, that and the other. Uh, and they said, fine, we'll just you know, pre-pone your interview since uh, you have come quite early. So, my first round started at 10.30 a.m. Right? Now, this was a fairly straightforward and simple round. It was based on logic. It was based on embedded software logic. How good I am with bit masking. How good I am with bit shifting. How good I am with figuring out which bit needs to be targeted. And how do we set and clear it. 
things like that you know then it went on to a bit of data structures how do i you know use an array how do i uh you know think about designing a, a solution to a particular problem with an array or with a linked list or with a queue with a stack it was quite simple it lasted around 35 to 40 minutes and uh, the interviewer was impressed he was like fine you know i like the way you think you have been passed on to the next round cool fair enough right the next round was around 40 45 minutes as well it was much more about what was my previous experience so for those who you don't know uh, i interned at a german mnc for a year in in my final year of engineering after that after completing my engineering i went to a company in surat but i had to resign from that company due to some personal and professional reasons and then i was looking for a job which was the situation right now while well, i was interviewing with the company right so i talked about my work in surat i talked about my work in the german mnc that i interned at that lasted around 35 40 minutes they uh, then tried to probe me on my debugging skills you know how do i exactly debug a device driver how do i think about you no know, linux driver so the context behind this is uh, i had worked as a linux kernel developer in surat and in the german mnc i worked as a embedded software r&d intern it's, it's a long wound up title but anyways So it was fun. They asked me about bare metal device drivers, about Linux device drivers. How do we debug them? How do we take care of them? And they just wanted to, you know, get a gauge of how do I go about breaking down a problem statement? How do I, how do I talk my way through it? And they wanted to, you know, get my general thought flow and my process uh, regarding everything. And that went good. Then it was time for lunch. Uh, that was sensational. Good lunch. Uh, one of the, you know, bigger. points about that company yeah it was the food pretty good then uh, the third round was with the director of firmware that was a bit of hr and a bit of technical round as well so he is a fan of uh, of block diagrams right so he asked me about uh, my work in surat and he asked me about my final year project he asked me to explain the entire block diagram how did i go about designing it how did i go about implementing it then he gave me a couple of situational statements uh, something related to networking something related to iot something related to you know the client server model the peer to peer model the http concept the ftp concept it was a banging interview and uh, he asked me uh, you know what's my expected pay rate i gave him a number and fair enough nothing nothing too crazy all too good overall lasted about 50 minutes or so and then i went on to the fourth round keep in mind all four rounds in a single day so yeah that's that's how the interview happened the last round was with someone who sits on the board of directors i believe uh, he was a pretty big uh, you know higher up at the company so he asked me a bit more about my personality a bit more about my goals and aspirations do they align with the company or not and that was it it was a pretty chill round it was much more of a discussion than an interview uh, keep in mind for those you know new engineers who, are, who might watch this if you're good enough an interview becomes less of an interrogation and much more of a conversation so focus on being that good enough that your interviews are a conversation instead of an interrogation on you just you know some some food for thought right and uh, The crazy thing is, uh, once all of that was done, the HR pulled me aside uh, for a bit of salary discussion. They knew the number that I had quoted. They asked me to justify, like, how did I end up at this number? I gave them a pretty solid uh, justification, and then they said, "Fine, uh, you may leave now since you have to get your ass back to Mumbai," which I did. Uh, and they would let me know within a couple hours with a solid update about my offer. And uh, it was the day before Raksha Bandhan, right? So. the bus that i was on the uh, st state transport bus that i was on it was filled to the brim like bro i stood for the entire 3 hours that it took me to get from pune to mumbai in the you know middle of the journey i got a call from the hr at this company and they congratulated me that i got the offer so you know standing in the middle of uh, you know the ghats of lonavla i was hanging on to a pole in the bus to keep my balance and i was at the same time talking to the hr of this company as they were congratulating me on getting this offer now uh, uh no spoiler alert i am going to pune i am uh, no not joining the company in bangalore i am simply taking off in pune right so what does this place me at like why this video why am i blabbering on for 10 minutes the point is 
a whole lot of people keep on asking me ki are there jobs in core electronics are there jobs in embedded systems are there jobs in embedded software this that and the other and my reply to them is the same if you're good enough there is always going to be a job for you always regardless of the market being now regardless of the automotive sector being fucked which it is by the way regardless of whatever if you are good enough and if you able to speak well enough about your own technical ability about your own you know skill set there will always be a job for you like dude i have two offers in my hand there are a couple more startups that i had to decline interviews at since i had two offers in my hand there was an mnc that was calling me uh, for an apprentice position and all of this happened within a week of me resigning from my previous job in surat so the key take away from this 11 minute long damn near 11 minute long video is um you know if you're good enough there'll always be a job that's the key take away and uh, as i close this video down a couple things that i would like to say uh please someone help me you know understand video editing i don't want to be doing these one take ass videos for the you know rest of my youtube career it's not a it's not a career really it's just something that i have always wanted to do and you know one fine day i said fine let's pick up the phone start no hit record and just start posting and see what happens so i would like to learn how to you know get into video editing how do we get the hang of the entire video editing process and the second thing uh, that you can expect on this channel in the near you know 6 months or so is much more stuff regarding embedded software embedded systems core electronics and all those stuff that no one really talks about online but is a pretty interesting thing to get into and it's something that I'm deeply passionate about so yeah uh that's it for me uh, my name is shitaj uh, that's it i don't know how to do a proper outro man see you later